Welcome back to Gatekeeper Media's coverage of the 2023 Swedish Disc Golf Pro Tour. We are at the Lundby Parken Open, presented by Clash Discs. And I'm Andrew Fish, joined here by Max Rugitnik. What's up, guys? Excited to see some disc golf from Sweden again. Absolutely. Great to see uh, the international scene developing and blossoming. Uh, thanks to all of the Swedish Disc Golf Pro Tour's partners. And uh, we're at the beautiful Lundby Parken in Ian Shopping. Yeah, I think they had a big tournament here last year as well. Uh, I know Nico Castro was playing that last year, so definitely some buzz around it. You see there we've got James Proctor, Eric Oakley coming over from the U.S., as well as Mr. Axelsson and Yusuf Berry, who's currently sitting third in the Swedish Disc Golf Pro Tour standings. Yeah, we got to see Gustav de Leon uh, and Fritjof at Skåne Open, so we've got a good showing here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, great to see uh, folks turning out for the season-long event. 356 feet, pretty straightforward. There is some out-of-bounds to both sides, but just a lot of field and a lot of different options you can choose. Yeah, all the airspace you want. Just uh, pick your comfortable shot and shape it. See Proctor come a little short there, but probably an open putt. Eric Oakley, this is a little overturned, kind of running towards that short pen. And we have Oscar Axelson, the uh, owner of the property. And something neat I heard about him. He's going to play with just four discs all around. Yeah, not something you see very often, but it's always kind of a nice little quirk. Unfortunately, leaking out of bounds long there, showing the, showing the big arm. Got Yusuf Berry back on coverage. Wearing short sleeves this time. Short sleeves. Looks a little <laughs> warmer. Also leaking long. Um, looks like he plays a little uphill, so maybe just clubbing up a little too much. Got it. Good bid from Oakley. Proctor making good. I mean, these guys were playing in, was it Beaver State or OTB just before They this? were at the OTB Open and literally that Monday morning flew out, uh, largely representing Clash Discs, one of their mutual sponsors, as well as the sponsor of the Lundby Park and Open. Yeah, so definitely on the grind here this week. I think they were only there for like five, six days, mm -hmm. but plenty of clinics. Got to see them all around Sweden. And it's good to see, like, ever since COVID, there hasn't been too much American blood on, yeah, on the European scene. So it's good to see some guys showing face over there. Absolutely. Yeah, hole two, we got a 96 meter par three. Uh, looks like pretty tight. Gonna have to navigate through the woods here. Finishing off to the left, so probably some hyzers here. Heiser release from Proctor. We'll find out where that landed. A little bit difficult to tell when uh, when you get these more wooded environments as well as some of the big rocks around the baskets. For sure. Um, this course just out of Stockholm. Um, and I mean, they there's so many parks in Sweden that just have such natural beauty to it. And these mossy rocks are just adds to that aesthetic, I think. Oscar leaks inside a little bit, and Yusuf kind of doing the same. Yusuf leaning on that forehand approach game that he likes. Throwing a lot of Betty. Of course, he's got a name on it, so <laughs> naturally. Flirts a little bit with the out of bounds to the right, but able to stay safe. Proctor gonna throw a little swooping hyzer skip. And that was snappy. Looks like a little low release. Yeah, not sure. Maybe has he played ultimate before? Could have been like a little. I not that I'm aware of. I think he's a baseball guy originally. Well, he's definitely known for putting some spin on the disc, so I'm sure we'll see a lot, a lot of that from him today. Oakley gonna come up a little bit short, and Yusuf for his par. 
bit bit longer of a look you want for your par. I know caught up got caught up on his upshot, but makes good for his bogey there. You could kind of see the effects of wind on hole one and hear it a little bit on hole two, even though you are protected a little bit more. Uh, something to keep an eye on throughout the round is how are players going to navigate in the wind in the woods. For sure. Hole three, 219 meters, a par five. This is playing as the third most difficult uh, hole on the course for the entire MPO field. Uh, we're going to snake our way around a couple dog legs here. You just have to trust your disc on a on where it's supposed to break and work your way all the way up here. Yeah, that looked like a lot of shapes to navigate, so I think it's going to be a lot of a lot of bending yeah. shots, not too many not, not many opportunities to bite off too much. I think it's going to be a pretty true par 5. Couple different options here from the American oh, no, no. players. Right. Yeah, so Just doing some placement. And you wonder if the course designer is going to have a little bit of an advantage on these complex shots. Surely. Surely he's played it a good handful of times. Hey, Looks the like there's a Nando there. Not sure if he was flirting with that, but. Clean. Yes. Yes. Wow. Nice. Yeah, you was getting a little fortunate. Left that one low and inside, but snuck through everything and got a good skip out of it. All right. Pure layup required when you're that pinched. And now going to try to work his way around the corner to the left. That is a touch inside. Oh, the touch forehand there. Yeah, it looks like it has enough airspace that you're not like poking and hoping, but definitely, definitely some trees to navigate and some decisions to be made if you want to, yeah, cut that corner a little tighter or. And Max, it's kind of nice to see uh, players playing some disciplined golf. Just getting themselves around the corner, not trying to play a hero shot for eagle. Yeah, it definitely looks like a lot of placement shots, setting up the next shot. So it could be, I mean, we saw a lot of a lot of angles being navigated by the drone on the footage. So <laughs> I'm sure it takes some imagination to, to shape up your, your game plan for this hole. And... Proctor sitting inside the base. Very nicely done. That'll be a pretty easy birdie putt. And now the creative forehand roller for Oscar's fourth. I reckon he doesn't even need a bag. I think he's just holding his four discs with him with a towel. <laughs> he's got them all just ready to go. I see that and I start wondering, uh, what does he do for water? Yeah. Does he maybe, carry snacks with him? Maybe he's just got a caddy designated <laughs> just for snacks and hydration. Yeah. And a very nice putt. Unfortunately, it is to save seven, but uh, way to finish. Yeah, he had to burn some strokes there. Got stuck by that Mando early. And it looked like he had a bit of a tough time getting out of that rough so the course looking like it has some teeth if you got off the fairway but yeah we'll see how these guys tackle it Bad. nice stroke from Yusuf I think that's important for him to get the putting stroke early I think we saw saw some less confident looks from him at uh, Skorna but I think significantly less wind here, so looking to just build the confidence early. Yeah, and I, I think you could tell the difference between one and three on his, the smoothness of his spin. Is that good? 
Check out the whole lineup at ClashDisc.com. Hole four. We've got a par four to come up up to that par five. 153 meters. Um, I mean, it looks pretty tight, so I'm not sure if this could be eagle opportunity, but we've got a dog leg right there. So maybe just a straight fairway mid and then a nice putter upshot yeah. into the green. Sick. That's it. I should have kept that berry. That's a good berry. Thank you. <laughs> you hear a little bit of cross talk between the players. Love to hear it. We see a much different option from Yusuf. Going to swing out left over the out of bounds, but does come back in. Yeah, they've got this corridor to navigate. Um, distance not looking to be that big of a requirement. So, I mean, if you can get down halfway down the fairway with that without having to navigate yeah. that corridor yeah, then that little that forehand out. outside if you're coming back in bounds looks like a valid valid choice Hi, Eric. Come on. Oakley seems like he was trying to play the aggressive shot with the inside still trying to birdie and Yusuf this is about as far as a berry goes right yeah, I mean, Yusuf has some power behind him, so he definitely likes to max out the uh, yeah the opportunities that he can have with a Betty. So he puts that one nice and close, and looks like Oscar got himself a putt there. And yeah, these stumps and rocks, I mean, they, they're aesthetically pleasing, but definitely can get some weird kicks and ground play if you're... If you're yeah not ex exactly expecting it to do anything tricky to it, so yeah, absolutely. It it makes you want to just land softly at the basket instead of relying on ground play to get your last thirty feet or so. And just high for Oscar. Yeah, Oakley made a little bit of a mess of that one. Just kind of chunked it a little bit here and there. Not too clean on the upshot, and yeah, paid the price. Yeah, it's understandable though. You feel he probably feels like if he misses a foot left or right on a couple of those shots, it's an easy par. For sure. Hole five, 85 meters. Going to go through another narrow corridor, uh, playing a little bit uphill. You can see some of the little knobs of elevation and a late break in the fairway. Very tight with all these birch trees. Proctor coming off back-to-back -back birdies. He looks to shape that one up pretty quick. But um, yeah, just got caught up on those last birches. So I think that last window is looking pretty awkward to yeah, to hit. And yeah, even that like looked like it kind of snuck through a couple couple trees late to to park it. Absolutely, the kind of par three that you have to play several times to figure out what kind of disc you're throwing, whether it's a a force over or a late turnover. No way, bro. Come on. Well, early kick from Oakley is going to have to scramble his way back. Nice, Eric. But definitely helps to have a forehand like he does. And very good progress. That'll give him a looks like circle two putt for a chance to save. Too much. Mm, good bid, dude. Good bid. Dang, Proctor with the long bid. looking to get something going but unfortunately air balls that one I mean these these trees are so tight and I'm sure <laughs> you're gonna get into some scenarios where you might have nothing or might have to flex a putt through yeah, there you're just manufacturing whatever you can get yeah Eric gonna go back to back bogeys and Yusuf completing the turkey that was some nice three three birdies to pick up Gets him back under under par. Hole six, we got 111 meter par three. Looks pretty straight to begin with. Also navigating a few trees here, but another right to left finish. 
should be fairway driver, maybe a mid range if you're you're feeling strong. Yusuf kind of on a tear here already. I like the shape of this yeah. shot. Um, yeah. <laughs> They're confirming it there, and uh, we got ourselves a hole in one. Use it with a nice skip ace. Yeah, love to have the, the folks up there who can see it. Just a perfect little skipper. I remember seeing this on social media, and I forgot that it was this whole this tournament. So, all right. Yeah, that's one way to follow up a turkey. Five under and four holes. Nice park job by Eric. Try to get him out of his funk there. Come on, finish. Oh, that one. That one was Proctor, I think. Oscar, oh. a credible shot into the fairway, and Eric gonna pull it right. He doesn't seem to have found his release points quite yet. Could be jet lagged. I can't remember what day. I'm pretty sure this was like day after they got in, so I'm <laughs> sure they're still jet lagged, still feeling it. Not sure what time it is. Yeah, already run four clinics, so. Understandable to be a little, yeah, a little shaky, but I'm sure Eric Eric will shake it off. He's a professional. And not to discount Yusuf, he gets to throw it one time and then take many more photos of that. Yeah, always nice to have it on coverage too. Just like, yeah, relive that moment, especially being at this big return. I think this golfing can improve a community in many ways. It brings people together. That maybe some of these kids who feel a little bit lost could find something like disc golf, find friends, find people to come together and play the sport. Encouraging people to work together, kids to know one another, love one another. A way for these kids to have a really fun thing to do together. I think that's what we need in the world, love one another and do life together. Hole seven, 75 meters, but don't let the short length uh, dissuade you from thinking it's gonna be tough. It is a very tight shot, just dead straight. Back to back, Come on. do you it. You got it! Short. Oh my oh, God, wait. don't go that Dude. far. I thought Yusuf that is on a, on a streak here. Yeah, whatever he's, he's, whatever he's found, he better stay there. This cameraman wants all of it. Love hearing uh, the card mates cheer for. Oh, that's OB over there, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh no, boy, so sucks. Proctor has Go found out of right. bounds. Like where you're, where you're Love hearing uh, Yusuf's yeah. card mates cheer for him to try to go back to back. Is that a, a pretty common thing in Sweden compared to the U.S.? I don't. I mean, I think it's more. I mean, James and Eric being there, mm -hmm. playing these tournaments. They're not. I mean, disc golf pro tour standards yet. Um, I know Europe is. Trying to get, trying to get their pro scene, yeah, bolstered. So, hopefully, these having these big pros come over and really? oh kind God. of give them some limelight oh will will help that. But I think that it's just good vibes on this card because mm -hmm. they realize this is kind of a special special opportunity to have two big names um, come over and be on this feature card. Not saying that Swedish folk aren't nice, but um, I, th I think it's pretty pretty competitive and pretty pretty serious over but there. In my experience, they're nice but very reserved. Yeah, definitely not too flamboyant. Mm -hmm. Keep keep an even keel, um, not too emo like fiery. So James, looking to save that par after going out of bounds, but. Unfortunately, just catching the top of the basket there, as does Eric. Looking for his first birdie. Come back for par. And that's uh, that's several putts that Oscar has missed just to the right. Uh, we'll see if he's able to make the adjustment. Maybe some nerves. I mean, also with the positivity of having these big names with them, there is always some pressure. Mm -hmm. like you, you play with somebody you've seen on YouTube all the time. Um, you want to you want to raise your level. So. And, and I'm sure being the course owner 
uh, it, it's a big weekend for him. He wants to show off this this awesome place and, uh, you know, get the feedback of folks who are playing it. For sure. And Yusuf is just running this running this course right now. Four down. I mean, I think he's, what, seven down in the last six holes? So he just keeps it going. Hole eight, 113 meter par three. A little uphill here. Um, pretty straight all the way through, even though you're navigating a couple of these trees. So I'm, I'm sure you can kind of pick your poison here. Yusuf with the Heiser release. I think he seems to be more comfortable with the Anheuser for the most part. Oakley going to go with that Heiser flip. Nice. And that's the way to get back on track. Yeah, a nice tap in birdie to get it back going. Heiser release to stand up. And... Another big tap. Love that. Yeah, it looks like yes. you might be just kind yes. of choosing a window oh. and trying to shape your shot to have the least chance of hitting a tree. Mm -hmm. Looks like these are pretty spread out, not a real super obvious, this is the gap. Yusuf not quite getting all the way there, but should have a long look to save his par. Proctor. Pretty penned in, abbreviated swing. Yeah, Proctor's had to get a little creative here. Good line. And Yusuf still going to be parlous at, through eight holes. If you're a sicko like me, you're rooting for things like that <laughs> as a, a little meta goal. Gotta fill out the bingo card. <laughs> and James gonna, he's been fearless so far running long putts, even if they do lead to long bogey comebackers like this. Pays the price there, but I mean, Proctor's been having such a good year. Like you can't really blame what he's, like his choices. I'm, I'm full on the Proctor bandwagon. <laughs> I think he's just a talent out here that we just should relish. For sure. And, and when you figured out how to run things safely and believe that you're going to make the comebacker, you know, eventually you do run into a three putt here and there. Hole nine, 97 meters downhill. Look at all these boulders. Just a beautiful disc golf hole. Yeah, still a lot of trees to contend with, but... I think you'll take this over a, a wide open field any day. <laughs> Nicely done by Eric Oakley. I imagine we're going to see mostly overstable putters or mid ranges. This is a little more inside. So just don't be a Christmas present like yesterday. Great shot. Feather. But still, right there. Very nice. Looked like it might have got some friendly help from the trees, but. A birdie's a birdie. Use of getting caught up there. And Proctor continuing a bit of a streak of early kicks that are leaving him some, yeah, tough spots and long putts. And doesn't seem to have it right now. Yusuf from circle two. No. Oh. Looked good. Might have might have caught if it was one more link to the left. Yeah, those are always good like good ones to get where you know you didn't quite execute your tee shot, but you still had a pretty clean look at it. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, Yusuf given a good bid, but again, I mean, yeah. A little different action on the chains and that sticks, so I think still a good putt. Still can build the confidence from there. And Three down through the front nine. Yeah, and he's gonna he's gonna finish this front nine leading the card, uh, which is not too shabby considering that most of the holes in the front are among the the tougher half of the course. So two birdies there. 
A uh, lot of lot of color on those cards, huh? Yeah, I mean, Proctor came out real hot, um, and unfortunately ran into a bit of a yeah train wreck there at the end. So, <laughs> I mean, he's got a couple strokes back up to Yusuf. Yeah, but plenty of time to get it back. We thank you so much for joining us on this event number two of the Swedish Disc Golf Pro Tour at the Lundby Park and Open. For Max Rogitnik, I'm Andrew Fish, and we certainly hope you'll join us on the back nine.